Leo here is going to be heading up everything and anything we come across regarding police involvement with these guys. And I've invited Special Agent Jensen and Sergeant Serac, a Baltimore police officer with City IAD and, and detailed to the FBI Public Corruption Squad to sit in and begin gathering strength. Great. Well, uh, we got a whole ball of yarn as it stands. For starters, Anderson claims Shropshire has an in with a Baltimore City narcotics detective. The name he had was G Money. Anderson alleges that Shropshire said he and G Money grew up together and were tight. Specifics? So far, only that Anderson believes that G Money has Shropshire's back. Those are his words. And we think that's why Anderson was worried that G Money might tip off Shropshire that he was cooperating with us. And then, of course, the second tracker. Right. Uh, no way yet to know how this fits in, but when we retrieved our tracker from Anderson's vehicle, we found a second tracking device. Go on. We subpoenaed the records, and it was bought by John Cluel, who happens to be a Baltimore police officer assigned to a citywide plainclothes unit chasing guns. So what's interesting is why would a detective's privately owned tracker be attached to a known drug dealer's vehicle? Well, I do know that the, uh, the city guys are often short on equipment, and... Uh, They've been known to buy or rent their own gear. That's true, but here's the kicker so far. We haven't heard one word from anyone in Baltimore City. Not a call, not a word from Cluel or anyone in the Gun Trace Task Force. And it's been weeks since we arrested Anderson and found their tracker. It's still just sitting in my desk. Does the tracker have value? They're not cheap. That says something. Sure does.